Hello everyone and welcome back to Everyday Husband Quotes, the channel for marriage advice, marriage entertainment, and everything else, marriage. Hey, hey guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to get into Melody Holt losing weight for a fashion show. I do have a small video and then we're also going to get into some emails that were sent from Martel to Arion. But before I do y'all, in a late night recap on Sunday with the ladies from Married to Medicine, Dr. Jackie and and quad miss quad honey and candy from the real housewives of atlanta candy was asked by quad what does she think about her castmate sheree and martel dating and so candy is actually confirming that they are dating she didn't deny it honey and in a previous video i told you that martel was at the reunion for the real housewives of atlanta which was filmed over the weekend in new york city and Martel probably met most of the ladies, if not all of them. But take a listen to Candy's response when asked a question about Martel and Sheree's new relationship. I just, I just, I just, well, I think she has a great friend with she by Sheree, and it is coming soon. That's what I think. She by Sheree, girl. I feel so bad, and you know, I just hope that it is genuine, you know, and I guess only time will tell, right? So you, so we can expect to see him on the next season, that's what you're saying. So let me ask you, I don't know where you're going to see him. Why? I don't know his schedule, okay? I don't know. I'm not so getting to where you going to see him or not. So I got to so that was Candy's response, but I think she knows more tea than she is actually telling. And so that brings me to Martel and Arya. Now we all know that Martel was in NYC. Right. I miss I'm missing my flight, y'all. Be with yours truly, Sheree Whitfield, for the weekend. After leaving Sheree, Martel had to catch a flight. Um, he was initially supposed to take a earlier flight out of New York, and it looks like Martel heads to Memphis, Tennessee, where he attends a golf event. And this is just not any type of golf event, y'all. This is like a major golf event <laughs> that's going on right now. <laughs> However, you want to word it. Well, last night, Martel's mistress decides to update us, and she posts an email that was supposedly sent by Martel. Now initially I thought the email was old because Martel was in Memphis, Tennessee but honey it's an up-to-date email if we're going to go based on the details in the email but at the end of the day it's just not any proof that Martel actually sent it. Like to me it's missing certain parts of an email that you normally would see if you're responding if you're having a two-way conversation between each other. Y'all know that we can program these phones nowadays to do what we want so i'm not going to read the entire email honey but i'll read what martel supposedly wrote in some of martel's mistress response so if this is coming from martel it starts off by saying hey there in the subject field it continues on to say you told me you grew up shaking my head i feel so bad for you my heart hurts best of luck and in the email there is some type of video because it has that mov at the end so Ariane responds and tells Martel to not email her unless it is about their son Knox. She said, my heart hurts for you and you still don't get it. You could have moved and kept it real, but you lied about it. Stop placing blame on me with all those exclamation marks at the end, honey. She meant that statement. She continues to say, I was loyal to you. You went and got an old bitty best of luck to you and then she writes outside of the email got back from vacation stressed i'm done so y'all be the judge on this email if it is authentic or not but moving on lastly i want to talk about melody so y'all melody has gotten a little fine on us honey i say sis has put on some happy weight it looks good on her i'm not gonna lie she got a few hips and curves but for the past couple of days, she has had to step her game up because she will be in a fashion show and she's been working out to lose weight. Now she has her trainer and she's trying to lose weight because of the opportunities that seem like they are literally lining up and falling out of the sky for her. Honey, I ain't never seen a person like this have so many blessings that are just back to back. Honey, it make you want to grab her coattail like the pastor say on Sunday. But you know, Melody I always got a word and she encourages her fans by saying this. She says, like, you really have to find something to motivate you. Or in my case, being asked to walk in a 
NYC fashion show in a clothing collab with one of the hottest stylists in the game. So yeah, it ain't playtime, hashtag motivation, what's yours? And then she says, preparing myself for everything God has for me. Preparation is key, expectation is key, motivation is key, determination is key, consistency is key. So congratulations to this beauty. And before I play the video of Melody working out, honey, her trainer is like 70 something years old. Training Melody who is in her 30s. Yes, honey, yes. So how do y'all feel about Candy and her comment about Sheree and Martell's so-called relationship and the status that it's in? Also, are y'all questioning the email that Ariane posted on social media, whether it's real or fake? So leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. I look forward to reading what you all have to say. As always, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys What's in up, the next video. Look, I'm gonna give y'all a little minute to come on up in here. Hey. Listen, I'm out of breath right now. Hey, George. I'm out of breath. My heart rate is at 162 right now, BPMs. Listen, so my trainer hitting on getting almost to 70. I'm gonna let y'all see her in a minute, but she pretty much was my trainer after I had my babies, right? Well, not pretty much she was, so I worked out and trained with her for a long time, many years. Anyway, she moved to California. So, you know, I had been doing virtual workout training with her, virtually. She done brought her ass back to Alabama. And uh, this in person right here, this in person training, ain't no joke. Come on over here, Miss Devon, say hey to my people. Hello. Going on 70, y'all see her? She on play. But listen, y'all, Miss Deborah done came back to Alabama. She done came on back to Huntsville. And y'all know we've been talking on our story and stuff a good bit about, I've been telling y'all we got to tone up, lose a few of these pounds, just a few of them. She over here this morning killing your girl. Like, Miss Deborah, don't be laughing because ain't no joke. You virtual. Doing great. You doing great. Emma, I'm impressed. Virtual was great. You know, when she was gone to California, she moved on, get dipped on up out of Huntsville, left me. She trained me for about three, four years, left me. We did virtual. You know, go to Zoom. I got my stuff here to do what I need to do. But now she done brought her ass back to Huntsville. And uh, this in person is just a lot more real. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So, look at this stuff. Let me try to see if I can put this camera around. Oh, child. Y'all need to go on over there and follow her. So, right, here we go. I just did five minutes on this dog on trampoline. I did all kinds of things. She done had me with this ball right here. And look at her. She just fine. Look at her. Almost 70. I've been on that. I've been doing that. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Listen. I'm tired. <laughs> Your girl is getting it in today. Thank you, Miss Deborah. I still love you, you know, but it's real. I just had to let y'all know. They said, what's her um at to her? Yeah, and then she got me doing my recovery. Because she said she knew I was going to need to recover. <laughs> she was right. So I got my recovery drink. She brought it for me. Um. So, her Instagram is at bid, B-I-D, fitness. B-I-D Fitness. I know y'all gonna see it. At Bid B-I-D Fitness. That's right, ain't it, Miss Deborah? That's correct. So anyway, I know she ain't gonna give me that long of a break, but I just had to come on here real quick because y'all know I give y'all the real, the good, the bad, the pretty, and the ugly of my life. So today is one of them rough days because she here in Huntsville first time training with her since she came back two weeks ago or a few weeks ago and um in person and um it's real it's real but love um you, love you. <laughs> i love you too yeah don't be talking i love you ma'am you, hey. <laughs> look all i know is when i'm here 70 i want to look like that and that's all i know so whatever i needs to do that she doing okay that's what I'm gonna be doing. But no, I mean, y'all, I've worked with her. I've trained with her for many, many, many years, and she's just bomb. Um, and she does have classes online. Yes, she does. But um, 
Who anyway? Drink my pot of drink. Yeah, I'm drinking. I love y'all. Somebody said 70 wear Miss Deborah. At Bid B I B Fitness. And she does do online training. Body image by Deborah. B I D. Body image by Deborah, baby. So I love y'all.